Hi, welcome to my channel, or should I say good afternoon to the ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls all over the world, or good morning or good evening all over the world, wherever you're watching, wherever you are around the world. This is your host, your guy DLG Repping, another YouTube channel, another recording, and as you can see, I've had a nice little shave and... Um, a little fight with a lawnmower. <laughs> or a little play fight with a lawnmower. I hope you like the haircut. <laughs> anyway, this is um, another um, footballing context here. And um, I'm, bringing you, I'm bringing you it. I'm bringing you it live and direct from my house, which is in London, England. So, local MP Lisa Nandy and Greater, Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham have called for an investigation into Wigan Athletic's recent takeover. Oh, let's have a look at it, let's have a look. Right, this is, um, this, this is coming after 24 hours. This is comes 24 hours after Wigan are likely to go into administration. Excuse me, I need to sit properly. Right, um, let me read from underneath the title. Local MP Lisa Nandy and Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham have called for an investigation into Wigan Athletic's recent takeover. The Latics entered administration earlier this week, having been taken over by the next leader. Next leader, fund on 29th of May. The Labour politicians have asked the administrators to be stopped from selling players and the club's 12-point penalty be frozen until an inquiry is complete. Wigan will fulfil Saturday's game at Brentford despite players going unpaid. Wow, the situation is really deep. You know, you've got players who are unpaid. Yeah, players who are not happy of not receiving money. Money that could help them feed their families and that's not a good thing. That is a time of frustration, extreme frustration. However, um, local MP Lisa Nandy and um, Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burham have um, started um, launching an investigation into how Wigan are going about this takeover. I mean, Wigan fans, um, if you want to talk about um, what's going on behind the scenes or what you, what do you feel, then drop it in my comment section below. Do drive the thumbs up like button and um, make sure you smash the thumbs up like button, um, smash the subscribe button for me, hard and passionately. Yeah, left, right and centre. I want subscribers from for myself. Well, I want subscribers to my channel, yeah? You help me um, by tuning in and, and listening. I'll help you by doing more video context, yeah? So, um, moving on to other news. Um, Everton and Brazil winger Bernard says he has been seeing a psychologist for the past year after having anxiety attacks. Now, <clears throat> this is something that I didn't know about. And um, he's been with Everton since 2018. And um, he's never really, um, he's never, yeah, he's never really come across as someone who's unsettled in English football. Underneath the title, I'm going to read again. Everton winger says he has been seeing a psychologist for the past year after having an anxiety attack. The Brazil international, 27, sought, profession, um, sought professional help after being taken by surprise by the attack. Bernard joined the Toffees in 2018 and scored three goals in 25 appearances for the club this season. He says here, it's not something I previously stigmatised, but I never thought I would require this type of treatment, he said. Well, that could be, whew, that could be a number of um, situations why he's getting an anxiety to attack. And he is getting some help as well. And um, I'm sure his club management and the fans 
who are really in the back, this will stick behind him as well as the players. They'll stick behind him, give him the support he needs. And um, if he needed any time off, I'm sure the management will understand. But um, however, um, if he's fit to play football, then he'll inform management and then we'll see. Then Ancelotti should see what he would do with him. Wherever he's needed in games, it's all tactical planning. So that's um, the situation there. But however, the main thing is um, he's getting um, some serious help seeing a psychologist because of this constant anxiety attacks. Poor lad. That's um, a traumatising situation to go through. And um, I hope you find the right solution, um, Mr. Bernard. Everton fans, um, if you have known a little bit more about this story, then yeah, drop it in my comment section below. Do drive the thumbs up like button for me. And um, yeah, not just Everton fans. But all football fans, like I, like I always say, if you've got a comment, if you've got something to say about what I've been speaking about, drive the thumbs up like button. Um, leave my yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and um, smash the subscribe button for me. Yeah, forty one subscribers so far and counting, and may it be 42, 43, as many as possible for me to for me to um, have this channel growing. And I must have uh, my viewers growing as well, yeah? So do su um, subscribe and, and subscribe passionately and smash that subscribe button hard for me. So um, I'm going to leave it as that. Um, Arsenal will be, well, they'll be playing in under an hour. And um, I haven't heard any team news as yet. But when it does come through... Um, I think I could find that right now. Maybe not. But um, I'm expecting a tight game. We're up against a very good side in Wolves. Good manager. Good set of players. Style of play is immaculate. And technically they're disciplined and well drilled. On and off the ball. Defensively and as well as offensively as well. Troy and Jimenez have struck up a understanding where they've um, linked up 10 times for a goal more than any other duo in the Premier League and um, that's something that um, we as Arsenal are going to have to watch out for. So I'm off to go and watch the game somewhere and um, I wish you all the best. Peace, bless and love. You're from your host, your guy DLG Repping. I'll speak to you later on this evening.